What's up everybody, it's Gone Turbo here. This is Skyrim Special Edition on Xbox One. Today's video, I'm going to do a little bit of a gameplay with a special guest. I have a special guest with me today. Um, <clears throat> my special guest is uh, actually not a real person. Um, I have with me a Google Home Mini <laughs> that uh, is really cool. And um, I thought I would play some Skyrim and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun on some adventures, but also mess around with this with this Google Home Mini. So um, how these things work is you say, OK, Google or Hey, Google. And hi, how can I help? <laughs> it will say something back. Hey, Google, what is Skyrim? According to Wikipedia, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is an open-world action role-playing video game developed by Bethesda Game Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. Nice. This little thing can do all sorts of stuff. Um, you can hook it to an app and, gosh, weather and your schedule and everything, but it's more fun to do other crazy things by asking it questions like, Hey Google, tell me a joke. What's a computer's favorite beat? An algorithm. Yeah, so you get corny jokes like that too, but it's kind of funny. You do trivia and... But I thought we would keep some uh, of this um, Elder Scrolls based. So if we were to say, hey Google, what are the Elder Scrolls? According to Wikipedia, The Elder Scrolls is a series of action role-playing open-world fantasy video games primarily developed by Bethesda Game Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. Okay. Hmm. One thing I had in mind that I thought would be cool someday is to do a live stream, which I have not set up yet. And uh, you guys could ask me, you guys could ask questions that I could ask this while we're playing. But... Um, <clears throat> So I wanted to, I haven't scripted any of this, but I have, uh, um, I wanted to ask it uh, Skyrim specific questions to see what it might say. Now, when it doesn't know something, it'll just say, I don't, I don't know that, or I don't know, the team will look into it or something like that. So I don't know how this will respond to anything that we might ask it, but... <clears throat> It is overall a strange thing, like it's 2018 and uh, we have, I have this device that I can ask it something and it will provide information. It's just, it, it kind of blows my mind. Um, I don't even have to crack open a book anymore. <laughs> I can just ask it. It can tell me, you know, if I, I don't have it set up, but you know, what, calendar might be, appointments, um, things like that. Um, it, uh, you know, can connect to other things, turn your lights on and off. Um, it's kind of scary in a way that, you know, we are in a world where artificial intelligence is becoming a more real thing. What's it going to be like, like 200 years from now? It's pretty scary that, you know, and actually, the commercial, if you see um, these Google commercials, what is it, like, make Google do it? Whoops, it just turned on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's, uh, like, really, we're going to make, we're going to make something artificial do something for us. I fear for the responsibility of the human race. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, I am on this really great quest that, um, uh, open up my journal here, um, the Ethereum Shards. I went to a place over here on the map. I'm saying this because I highly recommend this, if you haven't done this yet. This place here, Arkengathams something like that. And uh, 
inside you meet a um, ghost of Katria, and uh, um, she's searching for the mythical Ethereum um, forge. And the quest in this in this uh, place here is lots of fun. Um, it's lots of fun, and it and it uh, uh, put it, it 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 launches your search for these shards. Um, so I bet when we go in here, we're going to find her. <clears throat> I'm also sporting the Dawn Guard armor, which I'm going to probably switch because it's less armor rating than I currently have or had with my other um, uh, Nordic armor. But it's really neat. I'm also I also have, as you can see on this helmet. Um, <clears throat> whoops. We'll take a look at the mods here. Um, a new mod that's come out recently that allows uh, helmets that have um, eye spaces or, I guess, visor um, eye holes to be uh, uh, not uh, filled in, actually empty as, as real life would, would have it. Um, it's been very popular these last couple of weeks. Improved closed-faced helmets, the official port. Um, this allows uh, steel plate helmet, dwarven helmet, ebony, daedric, guard helmets, imperial full-face helmet, night guard hoods, dawn guard heavy helmet, which is what I have, bone mold helmet, and uh, acolyte, acolyte masks. Um, it's nine megabytes. There's been some updates. It started out as like eight something, but uh, the eye socket uh, gaps is, is how they're saying it. You're able to see um, the eyes. So I like it. I'm going to keep this in my load order. So that's what that is right there. We might maybe come across a few more of these as we go. So I had a question. Hey, Google, who is Dragonborn? According to Wikipedia, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, Dragonborn is the third add-on for the action role-playing open-world video game The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Uh, so she's saying it's an add-on. If I were to say, um, hey Google, who is Dragonborn? According to Wikipedia, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, Dragonborn is the third add-on for the yeah, action okay. role-playing open-world video game The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. All right. How about... Um, Hey Google, who is Dovahkiin? On the website giantbomb.com, they say, The Dovahkiin is a legendary prophesized hero, a mortal with the ability to use the magic of the dragons, and the protagonist of the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. <laughs> That's so... F <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. Oh, uh, my gosh. I wonder what else, what else can we ask it here. Um... Hey Google, where is Riften? On the website en.uesp.net, they say, Riften is the capital city of the Rift, located in the southeast corner of the Hold. The city lies near the borders of both Morrowind and Cyrodiil, and is home to the Thieves' Guild, who inhabit the sewers beneath Riften, known as the Ratway. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh my gosh, how about... Uh... Hey Google, who are the Dawn Guard? According to Wikipedia, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, Dawn Guard is a downloadable content add-on for mm. the action role-playing open yeah. world video game The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. All right. Um, what about something more specific? Like, okay. Let's try this. <sighs> okay, Google. What is Ariel's bow? On the website elderscrolls.wikia.com, they say, <laughs> Oriel's bow appears as a modest elven longbow, but it is one of the mightiest weapons ever to exist in Tamriel's history. Oh Allegedly created and used like its sister, Oriel's shield, by the great elvish demigod, the bow can turn any arrow into a missile of death and any wielder invulnerable to any lesser attacks. All right, that was pretty funny. So here we are inside, and there is uh, this person we're looking for. Hmm. Here's Katria. Unlock gate expert. 
like the word apprentice. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna take that. I'll talk about another mod that I've downloaded that improves the look of potions and bottles. If you've looked at the mod pages recently, you'll know what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can shimmy. Let's see if we can shimmy shake this open. Maybe there's a key in here. Ooh. Dwarven metal ingot. That's my dog. My crap. Get the shit out of me. <laughs> my doge. My doge. So. Oh. Okay, Google, where is Windhelm? On the website elderscrolls.wikia.com, they say, Windhelm, also known as the City of Kings, is a city located in northeastern Skyrim. Nice. Okay, Google, who is Ulfric Stormcloak? On the website elderscrolls.wikia.com, they say, Ulfric Stormcloak, known by some as the Bear of Markarth, is the Jarl of Windhelm and leader of the Stormcloak Rebellion. <laughs> uh, so there you go yeah come around this is it hmm. there's the shard I'm gonna take it I wonder if Google would know what Ethereum shard is Ethereum. Okay, Google. What is an Ethereum shard? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Pew. And just like that, she was gone. Out of my life again. If you know what movie's that from, please leave a comment below. Dwarven Battle Axe of Thunderbolts. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it for the next person that comes in. <laughs> I don't take every weapon in uh, the game. I have 15,000 gold. I got gold to spare. I got gold to give out. Okay, Google, what's the current value of gold? Sure, for that, you might like Apmex. Want to give it a try? No. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Google, how much is gold worth? Here's a summary from the website afmex.com. If the spot price of gold is $1,300 per ounce, you can expect an ounce of gold cost just a bit more than that from a reputable dealer. Huh. Nice. So where's the next shard location? Okay, going back. Wait, wait a minute. I got no direction on the next shard. You're kidding me right now? Hmm. I don't know where to go next. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway. So I'm using a couple of mods here that, uh, 
are new. I'm using Divine Atmosphere with the settings uh, that were on my last um, video regarding uh, lighting and weather. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of new mods that I have downloaded that I really like because I am all about um, wanting to improve every object in the game for the most part. So a lot of you ask questions like, uh, am I playing on, what, what Xbox one am I playing on? I'm playing on the original Xbox One, the original Xbox One, not Xbox One S, not Xbox X. Uh, this is the original one. So I have recently, recently downloaded Realistic HD Beverages and Radiant Unique Potions and Poisons. Uh, pretty heavy sizes with, uh, you know, uh, file size, 18 and 77. You know, for, for something like this to, I don't know, use... Uh, almost 100 megabytes of file storage space. Um, it's a it's a it's a tough call. I, I mean, even for me, you know. But um, I love the look of potions. Oh, I'll show you this mod too in a second. It's like a egg hunt mod. <laughs> but uh, each bottle, uh, whether it's a potion or a poison or whatever, um, is better quality for the textures. Um, they have kind of a, a swirly pattern. Most of them have like the swirly pattern. It's not too overwhelming. Um, <clears throat> and they have different pictures on them that might indicate a little bit more what it's, what it's for. And like, this is the ma Magicka potion, elixir of extra ma Magicka. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a, a wizard on there or something wizard um so we have like resist fire what do we have on here it looks like a dragon oh yeah we got a dragon on there and maybe some uh is that a strawberry <laughs> i know it's not a strawberry elixir of the warrior that's like the warrior's like like the warrior stone looks like a shield and an axe ain't that neat uh, some of the poisons have the skull and crossbones, right? <clears throat> like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like a poison bottle should. Skull and crossbones. Look at this. Shock, version of shock. Is that a skull? Lightning bolt going through a skull. Awesome. Phantom. Looks sort of the phantom. <laughs> this is the uh, vampire potion of blood. Heals vampires. You find those in the Dawn Guard uh, the castle there, whatever. Invisibility. Cure disease. Look at this. <laughs> it's got that symbol like, um, oh, it's got a mud crab. Yeah. It's got the symbol like a prescription, you know. Come to Skyrim, get your prescription cure. Stamina. You got a horse, guy on a horse. So it's pretty neat. Like this one's neat. Extreme magic. You got a the the moon and the galaxy. I don't know if the what, it's nice because the colors pretty much stay the same as vanilla, but uh, you know when the pictures are added, the stamina. You got a mammoth. Looks like a Nord with a beer. He's got a beer in his hand. A mug of beer. Mug of ale. I always wondered if it was the, uh, um, if it's the liquid inside that's causing the color or if the bottle is this color. Is it the bottle color or the liquid inside? Because there's no bottles of these colors in Skyrim. Um, but, so that's a cool, so it's a cool mod. For the other bottle mod, you get HD, you know, these kinds of things. The, the kind of miscellaneous bottles of mead and I guess the wine bottles look a little bit better. The basket, the, the, the thatching, I guess, looks a little bit better. Bottle, not so, bottle kind of looks the same. I mean, I do have a um, graphics pack, so maybe 
I don't know if maybe the bottles originally with the graphics pack had this. I guess I'll have to test that out a little bit more. I might have to delete this mod and see if they still look the same. I thought it looked better. Carrot. Firebrand wine. This this looks high more detailed. For show. Sure. Hey Google, what is Firebrand wine? On the website elderscrolls.wikia.com, they say, Firebrand wine is a unique item in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. How awesome is that? And, well, I mean, if, so think about it. It's basically, it's Google. It's searching the internet and just somehow uh, verbalizing it's basically like, you know, reading the text to some degree. So it's, it's not like it's a surprise that this device knows these answers because it's all Google web internet based. So it's not, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. Like being able to talk into a speaker and get this information, get, get information. Checking out what else is around here. Gosh. Like there's really no point of a textbook anymore. <laughs> hey Google, when was the War of 1812? From June 18th, 1812 to February 18th, 1815. It's a joke. <laughs> it was supposed to be funny. Um, let's see, we asked who's Ulfric Storm, oh, uh, hey Google, where is Dragon's Reach? On the website IGN.com, they say, Dragon's Reach is the castle and home of Jarl Balgruaf the Greater in Whiterun. It resides in the Cloud District of Whiterun. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you guys have any, sug eh, I don't know if I want to ask this. <laughs> if you guys have any appropriate suggestions for questions, I could ask Google. Uh, perhaps in a in a new or next let's play, um, I'd be happy to entertain that. However, if they are inappropriate, I will delete them. <laughs> I will uh, I will do so. Um, most of you, I mean, I uh, on a more serious, you know, touchy feely note. I have appreciated the support and the, just the the positive community and um, integrity that you have when posting comments. You know, um, I'm not going to be offended or anything if you have something to say that you disagree with or something. Um, but you've kept it clean. You've kept it respectful to each other and to the channel, and. Uh, that's that means so much to me. I really, really appreciate that. So um, feel free to leave a comment on what you might want me to ask Google next time around, and I can highlight that. But um, uh, if it's inappropriate, then there's no place for that on my channel. Um, so I, you know, I'm I'm galloping around here, just seeing the weather effects. Uh, I have Divine Atmospheres and True Storms underneath, finding it to be very, very nice. And I have no idea where to find either Shard. So, um, what else can we ask it? What else can we ask Google? I think that's something more specific, maybe more specific. Um... Oh, well, let's see. We need to ask it, what is Dovahkiin? What if I ask it? Okay, Google. Who is Parthenox? On the website en.uesc.net, <laughs> they say, Parthenox is a meditative dragon residing on the Jesus. throne of the world, skywards of High Rothgar. That is sweet. Like, really? It can take the my voice and uh, figure that out. I mean... 
Parthenox. Which I... <laughs> oh, I've been playing with Campfire and Frostfall. I've now that I've finished the main quest, I have those two mods back in my load order. Because um oh, hello. Oh a fellow Don Guardian. Where you going? Where you going? You trying to talk? Where you going, girl? What's up, girl? Where you going? You going to kill something. What we got? Oh! Let's do this together. Bam! Don't run off. Forgive me, but I am on urgent business for the Dawn Guard. Stand aside. Okay, okay, chill. I like that helmet. But I'm on the Dawn Guard too. Alright. <laughs> what was I saying? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> um. Oh, she's hurt. <gasps> you killed her. Oh, you did. Ah. Oh, no. Oh no. Thalia has perished. Uh, I'm so sorry. She's got a key. <laughs> I got a key. I can't believe this. What were her orders? Oh, in the past several weeks, all the couriers sent to replenish our supply caches in the northern reaches have gone missing. These drops must be made within the week to ensure operatives have previously needed. You better restock following caches in Morthal, outside Night Gale Inn, and we'll take care. Ugh. Does this connect somehow? Is this, like, meant to be part of what I'm supposed to run into? Do I continue this for her? Or do I start, do I go back? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll... I'm going to save it here. Um, yeah. Hey, Google. <laughs> I don't know. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. What can I help you with? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You and me both. <laughs> well, everybody, I'm going to stop right here because I am curious about this character's death. And I want to maybe uh, just pause for a moment and think about what my next steps are going to be. Thank you very much for watching today. Um, I'll talk to you guys again soon.